Hi Gems and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from uh, November 18th to November 25th, 2019. So from this Monday to next Monday. I'm very happy to be here with you on this uh, Monday evening. Um, I hope that you have uh, you had a great weekend, past weekend, and that Monday started out really good for all of you. Uh, I want to thank everybody here for all the love and support that you have been giving me on my channel. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the donations, uh, the letters, the postcards that are coming in. Um, for those of you um, I will have uh, that did have a return address, I will be sending uh, a thank you note along with all the beautiful uh, messages that you have been uh, giving me and for the support on my channel. Underneath the video will be uh, where you could send, if those of you that want to send a postcard or a letter, uh, there is a address there for you. Uh, everything will be underneath the video and how to contact me. For the new subscribers that are here, uh, I want to welcome you to my channel. Thank you for all being here again. Uh, Gems, you know I love you all very much, okay, and uh, I really have your back. And um, for those of you that do not know, I channel messages from my higher self and the divine, and I use the cards as a tool to deliver the messages. Um, also, I want to take one minute or less of your time. Okay, please bear with me. I just have to make a few announcements here. YouTube is doing a great job lately in the last year, but especially in the last couple of months. So thumbs up to YouTube, okay, because uh, they really are trying their best to keep all of us uh, here uh, maintained and uh, really strong in our placements on YouTube. And so what happens is that while they go through all these upgrades, okay, sometimes uh, they will unsubscribe you automatically to the people that you love. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. The notification bell next to the subscribe channel will let you know when I upload videos as well. And um, another thing that I want to point out, not only for me, but for everybody out there on YouTube, uh, and I know that a lot of, uh, there's a lot of people on YouTube, uh, creators out there that are uh, trying to help the collective as much as they can. Uh, one thing that uh, for if you really truly uh, want to support us, okay, uh, there's a way of supporting us also is by watching our our videos fully and watching the ads. Watching the ads and watching the videos fully will help us to stay more maintained and um, more of a strong replacement on YouTube. And it's a sign of support. So for those of you that will watch the ads, and I know that they could be annoying, but uh, just bear with us, you know, because uh, we do put a lot of work uh, out there for every everybody that does. Not only I'm I'm including myself, but there's a lot of people out there that do exactly what I do, or or they use di different techniques, whether it's a healing modality, whether it's uh, singing bowls, or whether it's uh, healings, or um, you know, they talk about uh, astrologers out there. Just don't forget to watch the ads completely and. Uh, by watching us fully, it will be help. It's a help. It's a way that you could support us, if uh, if you don't have any other means. So I want to thank all of you, uh, in advance for doing that. Okay, so let's get started now. What I have here is my singing bowl, and um, with all the donations I got, I got a beautiful one just for all of you here, and uh, so I'm clearing my energy, my space. I'm gonna do the same thing for you, and at the same time, uh, it's like a mini meditation before we start the reading. It's a time where you should be relaxing, taking it easy, and really listening to all that is going to be coming in towards you. So all you need to do is take a deep breath in, and when you exhale, you exhale through your solar plexus and let it go to Mother Gaia. So let's get started here. Beautiful. So I'm going to put that on the side here and I'm going to take out my spray. This is Archangel Michael mist. So if you want Archangel Michael to, to, to intervene with something in your life, okay, 
uh, at this moment when you watch it. I uh, just ask for your uh, what you want Archangel Michael to do for you, and then I'm gonna spray some for you. First, I'm gonna spray some for Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Metatron, all my angels here, and my crystals, my sacred space, and my cards, and some for you, and of course some for me. If those of you that want to purchase purchase Archangel Michael Mist, you go on RobertReeves.com, RobertReeves.com, and uh, you could purchase your own. Okay, now. Let's see what your affirmation for this week is. Where is your affirmation card? Oh, God. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to take it out because I thought I did. I guess I didn't, which is really strange. So um, let's see. What is your affirmation, Gemini? Your affirmation card. Okay. That was quick. You got perseverance. And if you want to repeat after me is, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. This is your um, affirmation card. And this is like, looks like your heart chakra and your crown chakra here is being healed as well. What does Archangel Michael say to you? Eternal love. Isn't that beautiful? Eternal love. Someone is eternally loving you all the time here. Your prayer is, help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. Eternal love. Work of light, you got counsel of light. Uh, your ascendant masters and, of course, your counsel of light. Uh, divine orchest orchestration, helpers in the subtle realms. So you have people out, out there that are helping you. Up there, meaning in the realms your council of light, your galactic family. And in the lover's oracle cards here, you got a message from your beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always united. For love transcends, transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So you do have a message from your beloved. Okay, so though we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always united for love. Transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So I already have the beloved card and I have the eternal love here. So this is like a very powerful reading I could tell already. I'm going to put these on the side and let's get started with your reading. I will use the Star Tarot cards. Star Tarot, you can get them on Amazon. I do have a link, but I haven't placed it yet because I don't know how it works. <laughs> Okay, where, um, but I will try to figure that out soon. So whenever you see this reading will be the right time for you, Gems. This reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But if you have Gemini in Mercury, in Chiron, in Jupiter, and Saturn, this is also your reading or wherever you feel that your Gemini placements are, Okay. I will use the Celtic cross. Why? The Celtic cross will uh, make me see right away what's happening for you, what's going on between you or a situation or a person. It will tell me the root of the situation, what's crowning you, what is in the past till now, what is coming to you very soon and uh, in the near future. And if I do have any future dates, I will tell you them. Okay. And I will also clarify. I'm going to put these cards on the side here. So this is for Gemini. I'm going to cut the cards in three. And let's get started with your reading. What are the messages here? Okay, two cards already popped up. They didn't come out, but they popped out. So I'm going to show them into you, but anyways, but these are not the cards. These are not your cards. They are your cards, but I'm just saying these are the cards that popped out here, okay? And I'm going to put them back in the deck and make sure that they come out. If they have to come out, they will come out. So I see here that there's a false beginning that's taking place for some of you. There's some type of uh, beginning that's not taking place. Uh, um, this talks about uh, where um, maybe from the month of September, maybe you're dealing with a Virgo energy here, or in the month of S September, there, there was some type of closure or S some type of like a full circle, like a, a closure uh, is what I'm picking up very strong. Some of you are going within, okay? You're going within to find your own path. There's some type of universal 
secret that's out there, okay? Something that is not revealed to you yet. And you got the Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to ask because, uh, you know, normally I do the Celtic Cross, but I'm going to have to ask what this, uh, you know, why this... Um, these three cards popped out for someone out there. So this is a definitely a message for someone out there. Yeah, there's a break here, okay? I see a break between two people or you taking a break completely uh, from a situation. The Ten of Pentacles talks about if you are in a uh, committed relationship, it talks, uh, I mean, this talks about it, two people coming in together, okay? A new beginning financially. But it also talks about unexpected uh, fam financial uh, 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 so, some type of money coming towards you, pure happiness, okay, or in, inheritance. But there is there, in, there was some type of completion that took place in the month of September, or you're dealing with a Virgo energy, and I feel that you, uh, the, the, the Virgo, the Hermit card talks about where uh, there's a lot of introspection taking place, okay, and a lot of inner reflection taking place. Uh, it talks about soul searching and and withdrawing from other people, and uh, there's like the the start. The beginning of it is not taking place because it's delayed. Okay, I do feel that there's some type of break. That's uh, there's some type of break here. Someone took a break from someone here. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, something is off balance. Some of you are probably dealing with a Libra energy, but there's something that's not in balance. Okay, at this moment, uh, something that took place in uh, in September and October that's not in balance, or there's a situation that. There's a false start. The start is not coming. But what I do have that's very good here, and you could see there, the 19 for the sun card is a 10. So two 10s together is being on the right path. But when the sun hits the 10 of Pentacles, this is like a great omen that's taking place, a great blessing that's taking place here for you, especially with the sun card, because that talks about material happiness, success, good fortune, happiness, joy, harmony, soulmate energy as well. And the universe, okay, you, if you if this is you that you've been taking a break from society or you taking a break from a situation, you're probably healing yourself. You're trying to figure out things on your own. And this talks about where the universe is hearing you and is uh, the universe is coming together with you, okay, agreeing on your path. And it's going to help you to move forward to something even greater than you ever expected, okay. And... Um, Okay, I'm just going to ask for one more card here, because normally <laughs> I don't do this, but this is something, yeah, there's a type of uh, uh, secret that was out, some type of, something came out to the open, okay, about the situation, and what is the end result here, I thought I could start the reading, what is the end result here? Oh boy, you see that card pop? <laughs> okay, the Queen of Swords. So Gemini, you came into your own reading. This is beautiful. The Ice Queen. Okay, you're seeing the truth of a situation very clear. You're speaking your truth. Um, talks about um, you speaking your truth, of course, coming through with everything that is not for your highest good. And you're not taking any more lies or dishonesty or from fake people because you see the truth right away. And if you have to cut them, you cut them. But inside, even though on the outside you may be seen cool uh, or aloof, okay, inside you have gone through the caterpillar, you have gone through the uh, the cocoon stage, and you are, you, you, you turn into a butterfly, you're a new person completely, okay, and you've been really working on whatever this passion is for you, whether this is love or money, this uh, is beautiful that's coming in, okay, and inside you're like a very, like, sweet person, you know, very kind, generous, you know, and uh, maybe, maybe too many people have taken advantage of you, Okay, so already with the two tens on the ground, what is the end result here? One more card, and then we'll get into the reading. So whoever this message is for, I'm just going to ask for, when is this going to take place? When is this going to take place? Look at that. <laughs> you got, <laughs> look at Gemini. I just want to show you something. You got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Ten, ten, ten. You're manifesting. The divine is coming in. The universe is coming and help you, okay? Ten of Cups talks about if you're in a committed relationship and you have been having a break, 
that person's coming back 100%. Okay, this is like a uh, omen for committed relationships, okay? It also talks about a soulmate relationship. It talks about abundance, achievement, and family happiness here that's taking place. But right now, for those of you that maybe are feeling left out of this, you know, maybe some of you, uh, there's a message that's supposed to be coming in or someone coming to ask you out or invite you is delayed so i feel that this will probably take place for some of you. i don't know where i'm just gonna ask when is this gonna take place for you hierophant beautiful there is uh this could be a marriage this could be a sometimes some type of commit commitment towards a person or a an organization it's also about soul searching as well Okay, I really, uh, I feel like your crown chakra is opening uh, and there's changes coming for you. Okay, when is this going to take place? When is this going to take place? Okay. You know, I feel like this is going to be another reading altogether. Gemini, some of you are feeling uh, at this time right now, you're feeling a bit like unstable. Okay, maybe you're not in your element this week. For, this is not going to pertain for all of you. You'll know if this is for you because you'll feel like I'm talking to you directly. It is a direct message here. Uh, right now, some of you are not in the physical. That's why your beloved gave you this message here. That's why Archangel Michael is saying that this is eternal love. Okay, some type of decision was made here. Maybe someone taking a break, not talking. Okay, um, there's been a lot of drama and confusion around the situation and but they are coming in very slowly taurus virgo capricorn energy they're coming in very slowly i do see that happening it is happening i just want to know when it's happening okay well i just got my answer here it's going to come in in the month of december so from november 21st to december 31st 2019 okay you will rise up from this situation okay this is your destiny is coming towards you okay and some type of judgment has to be taking place okay you need to have patience i know i keep saying but you need to have patience because whoever you're dealing with whether it's a sagittarius whatever sign it is someone really truly loves you on a deep level okay and this talks about you okay or the other person that needs to learn about balance having patience moderations body spirit and mind this talks about connecting with your guys harmony and alchemy like and also look looking for some type of um uh divine intervention it's coming in for you okay uh but right now what you're doing is that you're releasing okay the five of uh, the eight of swords energy is where you're gonna break free from this pattern or situation okay a lot of you are feeling sad at this moment you're feeling sad uh there's a lot of resentment and hurt but i do see two people coming in together because both of them have gone through the transformation Right now, what I see is also the King of Pentacles. This is worldly success if this has to do with business for you. Okay, this is worldly success that's coming for you. And I believe that because with all these beautiful cards I got here, and cards don't lie, okay? They are the truth. Uh, depending, again, who, who is the reader, but <laughs> normally cards do not lie, okay? Uh, so this is worldly success, okay, that's coming here for you. It's about someone that is very confident, reliable and very there's going to be a lot of satisfaction maybe this is who you are or you're dealing with someone that will be like this okay it all depends okay so this is a mini reading now let's get started with your real reading okay so let me know if that resonates with you let me just um it's coming all together just have patience keep working on your moderation balance everything that you need to balance do your meditations do your self-care do your life do what you have to do know that the planet the universe heard your call and they're coming in they're agreeing with your path but it takes time before everything comes in together but it's going to come in okay trust me so now let's go for your reading the cards are ready cut them in three that's the first okay Let's get started. This card wanted to come out. You got the world card. Okay, so the world card here talks about uh, ending of a, a cycle of life, okay? An ending of a cycle. It's also a pause right now. Some of you are paused, okay? 
in life, maybe before you, there's a next next big step that you have to take. It talks about major change coming. It also talks about successful conclusions taking place and a lot of possibilities and fulfillments and achievements. This talks about, again, karmically learning everything. There's a new beginning here as well for you. The world card talks about a new beginning and light travel as well. So it's very positive. Now we'll see what is crossing you at this moment. What is crossing you at this moment? You got the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries energy here. There's someone coming in very quickly, very passionately towards you. This talks about someone that is like very, like, uh, you know, they're, the, they're a knight, but they're coming in, okay, as a knight, okay? Very passionate, very courageous, very energetic. They like adventure. They like to be spontaneous, and they know how to use their words as well. And here you go. So wherever this person is, uh, there's also an individual here, a Prince of Swords energy. Uh, this talks about someone that is very chatty, very cool, very sharp-minded. Uh, they're probably a bit younger than you. Uh, not a lot from a lot, okay? But this also talks about someone that could be spying on you on social media, okay? And uh, some, even though they're chatty, they're not very clear, okay? This is what I'm hearing right now that they're saying to me is that it's, they sometimes are not clear in the way that they talk. Yes, they could be chatty, but they don't talk about real profound things at this moment, okay? They're, they're just, there are a lot of talking, and maybe they're checking you out on social media. Now, what is crowning you at this moment? What is crowning you? What's crowning you is the judgment card. Beautiful. So you're going to rise above this situation. Some of you spiritually, you are going to be connected to your higher self and the divine. And you're going to be channelers. You're going to get your own messages. You're going to go within. Gemini is. Uh, others of you, this talks about something that's coming to you that is your uh, destiny. There's a, something that's destined here for you. Okay. It's also about you making a judgment call. Now, when people say, what's a judgment call? Well, you're going to have to weigh the pros or the cons of a situation. Some of you probably have to judge a situation or you're being judged or it's either or, okay? But there's something here that you need to be aware of. And in the past, you got the Five of Swords energy, which this talks about uh, a lot of people taking advantage of you, not being there for you, or not people that are not for their highest good here for you. Uh, there's an energy like that of, of that around you, Okay. It's like everywhere you turn, there's like the injustice and or there's, you know, maybe some sometimes you would not do something a certain way. And, um, you know, and you're, you're seeing the truth in a situation coming to you very soon. Cancer energy or Sagittarius energy. This is you taking control of your life, taking control of a situation. This also talks about uh, overcoming conflict. OK, and, and moving toward uh, something in a positive way. Uh, there's a journey here as well for some of you. Uh, victory, okay? And um, it, it, it talks about having confidence in yourself, having confidence. So some of you with this world card, you're going to have confidence to move forward. There is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy here. Someone wanting to share love with you, okay? They're loving. They're very kind. Uh, they show care. care. They show that they care. Now, again, you got two knights here on the ground, okay? And they are knights. Okay, so, or this is you, Gemini, that you're wanting to share love with them. But uh, I got a message for someone here, okay? This will not pertain to everybody, so please just listen. And if you have to watch the video again, you may have to, because there's a lot of messages here, and I'm connecting very strongly tonight with all of you here. For some of you that are looking for love, right, you're you're going out there to show love. Whoever, there's a person, now this again is for 2 3% of you. There's someone that's coming in, but they just want to have fun. So be careful of this type of energy. If you want to have fun and just like have like a great old time, that's okay. But if you're going in to have a love relationship, just be careful of this energy because I do feel that someone is watching you and don't have to be fearful about it. There's nothing to be fearful. It's just not like like everybody else does, right? Everybody's, everybody checks on, a lot of people check on everybody on, on Facebook, right? It's like a social media or Instagram. So there is some type of, you know, someone watching you. But like I said, there's something coming to you faded. And we're going to check after what's happening for you. We're going to clarify the cards. Okay. Okay. 
Again, you got the full card. It's reversed. So this new beginning, okay, is not taking place at this moment because it's in delay. There is a delay here for you, okay? But it's just a delay. So we'll see why what why this is after. We'll see what why it's in the ninth position. What's in the ninth position? It oops is the king of swords. So this could also be you, okay, my beautiful um uh gems here. This could be um this talks about uh, standing in your truth, okay, uh, seeing everything very clear. But with the queen and the king, it's two different aspects here, okay. But now I have the king energy. Maybe this is uh, maybe you're dealing with someone that's another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy here. This talks about someone that has a lot of great ideas and has a lot of solutions, okay. They don't see problems anymore. They they find solutions and everything. And it's a lot of great communication that can place. But they're also very compassionate and kind. Now, let's see what's in the 10th position here. Okay, <laughs> the 10 of cups. Beautiful. So if you are in a committed relationship and you're going through some type of difficulties right now in your relationship, this is an omen for uh for it's an omen for people that are in a committed relationship even for those of you that are single okay there's a new beginning in in love here with beautiful emotions this is a soulmate energy this is abundance in your relationship achievement okay you achieved what this is what you wanted and for some of you this is family and happiness in your family what's underneath underneath i got the six of wands energy and this talks about success okay success in a relationship or success in a, uh, if this has to do with finances, okay, it's all here. Now we're going to start um, looking to see, um, let me clarify these cards. Why is the world card here for Gemini? I'm very excited to be here. I, you have an amazing reading, Gemini. You got the Prince of Wands. The Prince of Wands for me is my divine timing card, okay? So the Prince of Wands talks about where the signs, you've been seeing all the signs, okay? When you get this completion, you're going to feel all the signs. You've been feeling it up to now. Anyways, I'm sure some of you have been feeling that things will be, you know, you, that things will be better for you, okay? There's a sense of, like, you know, numbers, numerology, 11, 11, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. You've been seeing all the numbers, 10, 10, 10. Uh, you, the songs, you're also, you're vibrating in a different way. Some doors are opening, some doors are opening for you. Some doors are closing and some doors are opening for you. And uh, there is uh, some type of like excitement that's taking place here for you. Now, let's see why the world card is here with the Prince of Wands. Why is this here? Why is the world card here with the Prince of Wands? Okay. Okay. This is how you're feeling right now. Okay, Gemini. Or this is the other person maybe. But I'm talking about you, Gemini, is here. Okay, my beautiful gems. So a lot of you are, are focusing... Are focusing too much on all the things that went wrong with the five of cups energy okay you're focusing uh on the things that went wrong right now mercury is in retrograde we are in the scorpio season so we are purging and healing at this at particular moment but you are focusing on the things that went wrong and you're not looking at the blessings around you okay and the, there is blessings things that you should or people that you should feel appreciated what you have. You've been going through a lot okay but I do see a relationship here that went through something there's some type of they went through something here. And it's about you seeing seeing the silver lining of the situation. Um, talks about you appreciating. Some of you are still grieving someone from your past. Like uh, someone that you lost through uh, like a husband or a wife or a friend. Uh, someone that passed away. I feel this like. But the sun is shining on this and the clouds are removing. And you will get those two cups that you want. Okay. Two people coming together. With the moon card here, it tells me that there's a lot of 
illusion and this, uh, a lot of illusion and deception around you. But it's normal that you're going to feel this, Gemini, because you have to understand Neptune is in Pisces and it's in retrograde till November 27. And then after that, we're in the week of shadow side. So what it talks to me about here very, very specifically is that a lot of you are feeling that way. But there's something that is not as it appears. Okay, so there's something here that is not as it appears. Okay, uh, and there could be a misunderstanding on your part, Gemini, or on the other person, or a truth that you cannot admit to yourself or the other person cannot admit to themselves. And when it's when the two cards are upright like that, it shows there's a difficult period that you're going through. There's a lot of insecurities and fears, mental confusion, uh, and hidden. There's something that's hidden. But at the same time, when it's the moon card like this, okay, it talks about also a major blessing that's coming towards you. But you need to release this energy. How do you do that? Meditating and admitting whatever it is that has to be admitted even if it's like some type of closure for you, okay? So when you're dealing with a Piscean energy, Pisces, this is my Pisces card, and this is a Cancer card, right? You're going to say, but how come? Well, that's how it is. That's what they told me. But of course, if you see this as your Cancer, cancer card or Scorpio card, it's whatever you like it to be, okay? There is a completion that's taking place here. Now, let's see why the Knight of Wands is here for you. You got the Eight of Wands energy. So there is... Whoever this person that's crossing you, there's going to be a lot of messages coming back and forth. Okay, a lot of messages, very quick messages, very passionate messages coming in. Some of you are fearing this person. You're not sure because, you know, Neptune being in retrograde makes you think that some someone is always up to no good. But it does, sometimes it's not like that. And you got uh, the Libra card. So, so you're dealing with a Libra. Maybe you met this person in October of 2019. I know we're in November, but... They're also showing me this. Maybe someone that you knew. Maybe it was just a friend or someone that you had just met. Uh, this talks about justice being on your side. Rulings made, be, rulings made on your side. It also talks about, um, it also talks about things that will start being in balance. Things are going to start being in balance for you. Or there's some type of balance that's coming in your life that you need as well. Okay, because the messages are coming in. And uh, it's about you standing in your truth with this person that's coming in here. Right now, I don't see any bad cards associated to this person or situation. Why is it just this card here? Some of you are not sleeping at night. Okay, overthinking, overthinking, overanalyzing a situation. The more fear you put into it, the more you're creating something bigger than it's really not. Okay, so there's a lot of fear associated with this and there's a lot of like sleepless nights. Some of you are overthinking too much or overanalyzing too much. Maybe it's been the energies as well. It's been very hard to cope with. I'm going to ask for another card on this. Why is the Nine of Swords here? What is this all about? The King of Pentacles, Virgo, um, Taurus energy, Capricorn energy here. This could be you. Maybe you're worried about your finances for some of you. Or this is a person that's coming towards you as well. This is like, like I said, worldly success that's taking place. Someone that's very really confident, reliable, and very grounded here. There is some type of energy here, okay? Maybe some of you, you're, you're being... There's more than one person or you're being pulled into too many different directions. Now let's see why the Prince of Swords is here. You got the Queen of Swords energy. So you're seeing this person for who they really are. If this is you, okay, Gemini, or there's another Gemini like you here. Uh, Libra or Aquarian energy but I feel that this is you you're seeing the truth in the situation so nobody's going to fool you any longer because you learned your lessons why is the Prince of Swords here with the Queen of Swords 
got the high priestess card. You are a high priest or a high priestess here. Okay, there's some type of, again, hidden. Something is hidden. Something that is not seen. Something that does not, is not as it appears. Okay. This talks about also, um, you know, time to retreat, time to reflect. Uh, trust your intuition. It's about you trusting your intuition and not second guessing yourself. Uh, it also talks about uh, that whatever that is around you right now is not what it appears to be. And so you're going through a spiritual, uh, something spirit, like not a spiritual, um, what's the word they're using? Um, talents. There's some spiritual talents here for you that some of you are like a high priest or a high priestess. And uh, so here it talks about also something that's hidden from you. Okay. But trust your intuition. You got the princess of pentacles. So there is a, a type of apology for some person here or a beginning of a start of a situation here for some of you. Uh, this talks about someone coming in and helping you with a situation like there's an offer on the table. There's some type of offer here for you. Now let's see why the five of, um, of wands is here. Right, the Five of Swords energy in the fifth position. Talks about the Empress here. Okay, Taurian energy, Libra energy. This talks about someone that's very nurturing, very abundant, a new opportunity and stability that's coming in for you. But you, some of you are fearing that you're going to get backstabbed or something. This talks about also being fertile. It talks about death, rebirth, death, rebirth, that you're not even going to recognize yourself. This really talks about any everything that you touch turns to gold. Okay. Uh, let's see what else is happening here. Okay. The hangman. You sacrificed a lot. A lot of you are letting go as well of the past. Okay. You're letting go of the situations of people. And you're, all, you're also breaking uh, patterns while you've been going through your ascension. Some of you are detached from everything or anything. Okay. Uh, the devil reversed. Uh, that, that talks about uh, when um, it talks about. Um, you're, because you sacrifice a lot. Some of you are not bonded to anything or anyone. You're not even bonded to any anything that, you know. Any tox, toxic, toxic, you know, uh, there's a sense of freedom that's or liberation here. Okay, maybe you were dealing with a Capricorn for some of you. Um, this is also the south node in Capricorn right now that's releasing anything that is karmic that is not for your highest good. So you're doing a lot of the purging, you're doing a lot of the releasing, or you're dealing with someone that's off balance here who is a Capricorn, or you have Capricorn in your chart as well. So over here, let me just, um, and for some of you, this could also mean uh, divorce. Now, that's not for all of you, but there's some type of divorce that's taking place. Now, let's see what the judgment card is here that's crowning you at this moment. The two of wands energy. So you're going to rise above a situation. Uh, I feel for those of you that have an online business, you, it's going to take off. I feel that also someone's coming in, uh, you know, like Sagittarian, Leo, or Aries energy here. Someone that's coming in, to um come with they're like they're investing in you and you're making short-term plans or there's some type of investment here okay uh the two of wands talks about you um forging slowly like baby steps taking steps forward why is the judgment here with the two of wands beautiful the tower card i love when i see the tower card this is like the divine you ask for divine intervention it's coming in for you Okay, the tower talks about like um, uh, unforeseen changes coming for you, uh, unexpected change, but it's going to be like powerful and a lot of liberation is taking place. So the divine is coming in to clear anything that is not for your highest good, even your thought patterns, even people that are not supposed to be there. And it's going to bring you peace and happiness. So this is beautiful because the, the tower is coming in, okay, with the judgment. This is like something very, very, it's it's your destiny. You know, some of you could be in the wrong path and you're feeling stuck with a certain situation. You can't get out of it. You tried everything. The divine is coming in to clear. 
Now let's see why the tower card is here. <clears throat> why is the tower card here? You got the eight of swords energy. You're gonna feel free. If the if the eight of swords would be upright, you would be feeling stuck or overanalyzing something, but you're gonna be free of this with the tower card. This is beautiful. Now let's see why the <clears throat> seven the chariot card is here. Okay, hold on. Why is the chariot card here? Wow. Yeah, I could feel that, you know, you're releasing right now. It's very, <clears throat> it's really normal that you're releasing in the way that you are <clears throat> with all the fears that are as associated to this because of Neptune being in re retrograde and the South Node in Capricorn is also making you release anything karmic. So you are going through a lot, but you did get the completion and you got the Ten of Cups energy here and the Six of Wands, which is very, very good, okay? So let's see what the chariot card is about. Why is the chariot card here? Okay, you've got three cards. Let me see what they are. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, nine, nine. There's so many nines. There's so many nines on the ground. Like you're having major cold and tens. So you've got the nine of wands, the Virgo card, which is the hermit and uh the ten of pentacles okay so this talks about all your achievements and how far you come some of you it's also balancing your light and shadow side really bringing it to the core of who you are you just need to trust your intuition okay and forge ahead and not too much to be on your mind this also talks about where you're going to be moving forward in a situation you're going you know you're going to be moving forward and very much in confidence here okay overcoming something difficult the virgo card could talk about you dealing with a virgo or this is your energy right now that some of you gemini are not are going to take time out for yourself you're not going to be around society too much or the people that you love okay you're really mostly in your own bubble and following your own path this may have started for some of you may have started this path of yours in the month of september okay and i got the ten of pentacles here so like I said, okay, unexpected financial success, peace, happiness, some type of inheritance, windfall, or a large sum of money that's coming towards you. That's very nice to see. Now let's see what the Knight of Cups energy is. I feel like you are wanting to share your love or there's someone coming in for you. I smell coffee. <laughs> Someone's brewing coffee here. Mm, you guys, oh, I wish I had a coffee right now. I smell, I smell the coffee. Okay, here we go. This person, whoever this person is, or if it's you, or this is a soulmate energy that's coming in, or a twin flame energy. Six of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, very strong. Or it's, it's going to be happening for some of you this month. This is a person that you're meant to be with, is what I'm hearing. And it's also right now you're feeling very nostalgic. And so maybe that's why some of you are, you know, uh, in a slight depression. You need to, uh, I feel like you need to, um, you are going to be rising above this. So keep working on right, your vibration. Keep working on yourself. Okay, it's all about self-love. Why is the Six of Cups here with the Knight of Cups? Okay, let's see. Huh, the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Sagittarian, Leo, or Aries energy here. This is like passion, love. Um, it's like the phoenix uh, rising above, okay, the, the ashes, it's, a, in, in, it's about also in, ignite passion within, it's coming from within, and I really feel that there's a beautiful, like, passionate relationship here, Some, or this could be passionately, because there is a relationship here, and money, two people coming in together here, okay, why is the ace of wands here, with the knight of cups and the six of cups? Talks about the Six of Pentacles. Talks about things will be in balance. There's a balance here that's taking place for you from this, whoever from the past. The Six, because right now I think Mercury is still in, in retrograde. So there's some sort of balance. Whatever that you're giving, you're going to be receiving. If this has to do with finances, this talks about the Three of Cups energy. 
a lot of uh, celebration and joy that is taking place. Others of you, I'm picking up also that you're thinking that someone's in a third party situation, but it's not what it appears to be. You think that they're that with that, I don't know. I'm going to put a message out there for someone, okay? You feel that that person is with someone else because you have no communication with them for some odd reason. They're not communicating, but it's not what it seems, okay? It's not what it seems. There's going to be celebration here in the 10 of wands reversed, which is perfect. If it would be upright, it would show you're carrying a lot. This is going to, like, this is like the eight of swords energy card. It's You're not going to feel anything anymore heavy on you, okay? No more. It's like you're going to feel liberated. Now, why is the full card reversed here? Show me why the full card is reversed. What a powerful reading, Gemini. But you know what? I understand you're going through, everybody on the collective is going through that. Okay, all going through this fears. Every, everybody's going through this at this moment. Uh, I know that you can do this. Whatever it is that you're having a hard time, I know you can do this. Okay, and uh, you need to claim this reading because it's really a beautiful reading. Okay, with the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and, um, you know, Judgment and the World card and, um, you know, uh, the Chariot card. Success for you is here. In Beautiful. Okay. The reason why right now the full card is reversed is because someone's not ready to show their love. You got the Queen of Cups reversed and you got the Princess of Cups reversed. There's a there's a delay here. There's a delay. Okay. There is a delay. Because someone needs to understand that there was a misunderstanding. Now I don't know if it's you or them, but there's someone that needs to understand that whatever happened, that there was a misunderstanding here. It, I, and that something is not appearing as it should be. So right now, the new beginning is not taking place, okay? The, as the Queen of Cups or the Prince of Cups and the full reversed Cancer energy, uh, you know, Pisces or Scorpio energy here, uh, someone is not ready yet. They're not ready yet. They have too much fears. And they're, they're in the Five of Cups energy. Okay, Five of Cups energy. Why is the full reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed and the Prince of Cups reversed? What is this all about? Yeah, well, whoever, if let's say you are in a break with someone or something, whatever is happening right now, this queen or whoever this person is for you, okay, whether it's a man or woman, it doesn't matter the gender, they're, you're both healing. There's a sense of you're healing your heart chakra. It's being healed. And then when that takes place, the king of cups shows up, okay, cancer energy pisces or scorpio energy here someone here that is going to be available for you but their heart chakra will be healed if whatever if you're dealing with someone okay that is um right now not emotionally available they're going through a major healing uh, and or vice versa whatever the case is but they're coming in as the king or could be also the queen of cups which claims to unconditional love okay and they're seeing the truth in every situation very caring loving people here and let's see why the king of swords energy here is they are uh reevaluating everything or this is you gemini right now you're reevaluating everything that comes with your heart chakra you know which way you have to go but some of you are scared to go that way there's some type of fear again that's attached to you okay but just remember you're dealing with a lot of illusions and deceptions around you at this moment in feeling okay Some of you uh, walked away from a situation. Some, or if this is you, Gemini, or someone that you're dealing, with, they walked away because the patient. I feel that they weren't patient. Okay, um, I feel that something crumbled. And uh, even though you're walking away, some of you, if whoever this person is, they're not walking away. Like they're like, they're not very clear of their path. Of, of their path. Okay, they're not very clear. There's still much in the dark about it. Why is the Eight of Cups here? What is this all about? Yeah, some of you are going to be moving or relocating, or you're really going to, some of you are really putting the past behind you. Some of you are going to be going towards like, um, um, like leaving a past that had a lot of like conflict or troubled waters, going to calmer waters. 
Because some of you could also be, like I said, relocating or moving or some type of vacation or retreat here. Now, let's see why the Ten of Cups is here. What is this all about, the Ten of Cups? I got the Lover's card. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look. The Ten of Cups with the Lover's card and the Emperor. I got the Empress and the... Did I get the Empress here? Yeah, I did. I got the Empress and the Emperor here, okay? This is like, oh my God, it's a beautiful omen here. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries, okay? Uh, for some of you are dealing with an Aries, okay? Um, this is also, the Lover's card is a Gemini. You came into your own reading. Beautiful. Two people coming in together. A lover, soulmate, a twin flame here. A big decision has to be made here as well. But I think that the decision will have, it's a great, it's already done, I feel, okay? Because this is your destiny. Uh, maybe you're dealing with an Aries. If you're not, this is uh, also for some of you where uh, there's, um, you know, um, so some of you are setting up new boundaries, uh, like in this relationship or setting up new rules. Uh, it's about uh, being on top of things as well. If this has to do with your finances, okay? It's also talking about action, paced uh, commitment stability security here and being on top of things okay this is beautiful you have this energy here i'm so happy to see this oh this card already came out i don't know if this card the elephant yeah the elephant came out already it was here i just took it by mistake okay now let's see why the emperor is here oh well, this was here too. I guess I took the wrong cards. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. You got the Tempest card. This is someone that loves you deeply. This is someone that loves you deeply. It's eternal love. It's your beloved. Your beloved. Okay, and it's also about being patient. And uh, learn about... It's, all about... it's also about learning about balance in your mind, body, and spirit. Okay, moderation. Like again, connecting to your higher self or connecting to higher realms. I see that this is going to be taking place for you from no November 21st to de December 31st, 2019. Now let's see what the Six of Wands is here. Wow, what a beautiful reading. Patience is needed. I know. Right now, we need to take care of you. Your ships are coming in, whether this has to do with money and love, whatever situation, their ships are coming in. The three of wands energy, the completion is taking place. This is a long-term investment as well for money and long-term plans as well here. Why is the six of wands here with the three? Okay, you got the ace of pentacles. There is some type of gift coming towards you money promotion job whatever it is is coming this is a gift that's coming in for you and i got the queen of pentacles did i get the king of pentacles here i'm just checking to see if i got the king of pentacles i'm not sure yeah this is talk about the queen and the king of pentacles worldly success okay very nurturing very loving uh taurus virgo or capricorn energy here that's taking place here and the magician. You have what it takes to manifest anything you want. Right? What this is what your what did your affirmation say? Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. With the magician card. This is what you can get. All your dreams come true. Beautiful. Beautiful. And just one more card, final card. Remember, right now, you're in divine timing. Even your family of light is helping you. Divine orchestration helpers that are helping you in the higher realms. Give thanks to that. It's taking place. All you need to do is trust. Trust. Everything is beautiful here. No, just one card. Just one card. I don't want to start another reading. Seven of Wands, you're going to rise above the situation. 
you're rising above all the negative energy people situations and you are defending yourself and standing your ground beautiful it's beautiful to see that so i hope you enjoyed your reading don't forget to comment like or share now if i will take out the advice i have advice here from a couple of decks for you for those of you that want to listen this is also very important oracle cards are as important as the tarot cards the first card you got is amethyst wings look how beautiful this card is i want to see if you see it i'm sorry if it's dark i don't get why my camera light is not working it's not, I don't know how to make it work, but uh, maybe I could put this a bit higher here. I don't know if you get to see it because it's a beautiful card. And it says, uh, so this uh, is your advice. The Amethyst Angels has appeared in your reading today to bless you and let you know that the turmoil you are currently experiencing will soon clear. Amethyst will help transform and transmute all that no longer serves you. You will soon be free of inner turmoil and conflict, free from fear, frustration and anger, which has adversely affected you in recent times. Be willing to surrender past and present issues. While your heart yearns for this transformation, there is a part of you that will instantly resist change. This is normal, for you have no clear idea of what the changes may bring. Trust that you are protected and safe. This card is confirmation. An angelic presence surrounds you. There is a greater purpose for your life, so just flow with the flow. Just go with the flow. Just go. Just go with the flow. Stop the inner struggle. Let go and allow the transformation. You will no doubt feel a little discomfort over the coming days and perhaps even the coming weeks. At times, it may feel as though your emotions are about to explode or that your world has been turned upside down. Yet this is all part of the process. There is nothing to fear. There is only love and new beginnings. What a beautiful card. Next card. Next advice like uh is from madeline okay madeline and she has something to say to you wow what a powerful spiritual reading here she says go forth and be true to yourself <clears throat> dare to be different to make mistakes create for it is in creation that you exist in a world full of dreams that stem from your heart in oneness love and hatred wonder and awe softness and pain joy and light in the stillness, the unknown awaits. Avoid wanting to be filled. Step into it with courage and strength, like a budding rose reaching for the light. Love will lead you to greener pastures. Keep your pockets full of dreams, for life is a test of faith. Allow your light to shine. There is no beginning or end. There is only love. Wow. Thank you, Madeline, for that. Now, let's see what uh, your crystals are for this week. Your crystals so the first one is big spite big spite big spite <laughs> okay and again number nine which talks about completions this is drive courage full speed ahead spirited action so it says there is time there is a time to hesitate and a time to move forward with conviction courage and total determination and that time is now big spit <clears throat> Spirit has arrived to tell you to take a deep breath and move full speed ahead with forceful action on behalf of your own healing. Be fierce as you push through obstacles with laser focus for nothing will nothing will stand in your way. You are meant to feel driven at this moment to break free of the chains binding you to unhealthy patterns. Advocate for yourself unap unapologetically and be unshakable in your belief that you are worthy of achieving your goal. The conscious universe, the force that propels you, is always there for you as your ally. Now's the time for fearless action. So uh, sell on. This is for uh, for those of you that are in a relationship. This is a message for you. Okay, let go of anything that might impede you as you are. As you act on the inner conviction to bring love into your life by nurturing your relationships, there's a time enough to do to do lists. Today is a day for co connecting and reconnecting with those you care about and for reaching out to those you have said you want to get to know better. The universe is in love overdrive right now and wants you to stop focusing so much on the everyday tasks that can start to wear you down. Prioritize relationships. For they have the power to help you heal and to recognize that you have all you need right now to experience contentment and fulfillment. Then, uh, for those of you that want to know about 
prosperity. This is a prosperity message. Full speed ahead, Captain. Even though your ship may be sailing into uncharted waters, but that it is exactly where you're meant to do on your quest to experience the prosperous life the conscious universe wants for you. Big, big spy spirit message is to take action toward growing the wealth that is all around you. Claim your power to co-create a solid foundation for any adventure you wish to take. Your boat is made of a sturdy wood, so sell with confidence, leaving behind the suscure, the, leaving behind the past, thinking leaving behind or thinking about your past. Your crystal spirit meditation is Bibex is a rare red from beryl. Beryl? Due to its rarity, only small specimens can generally be found. However, even a little piece packs a pit, big punch. Bibex is an excellent stone to increase self-esteem while stimulously giving us the courage and energy to take action on our own behalf. So this is one of your crystals. And the next one you got is Carnelian. This talks about increased confidence, again, dignity, poise, and self-assurance. Rising above the fray is much easier when you feel confident in your strength and know that the conscious universe is lighting the path for you. There's no shame in feeling unsure as you leave behind the unfamiliar. But carnelian Carl, spirit is here to help you grow your confidence so that you can experience dignity and poise even when it is not what it, when it is clear that you... Okay, let me see what the... Sorry, let me just go back here. So, um, this this crystal, okay, will help you grow your confidence so that you can experience dignity and poise, poise even when it is clear that you are imperfect and not completely certain of what... Oops. Of what step to take next. You have come so far and grown so much. Give yourself credit and know that you make the best decisions for the good of all when you feel self-assured because you are connected to the conscious universe. You're a co-creator at all times. You are awake and alert, heading, heeding the signs that are guiding you on the on the healing path. So hold your head high. Relationship message, whether that it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship or friends or family, there is strength in allowing yourself to be vulnerable. After all, intimacy and trust can only be built if you let yourself be seen as you really are. Be confident in all that you have to offer a partner and know that the conscious universe wants all of your relationships to nourish you. Carnelian Spirit is here to remind you of how wonderful you are. Rest assured that as you experience your dignity and hold your head high, others will recognize you. Recognize that you are a pillar of strength and a beautiful, unique spirit. You deserve the relationship that you want for yourself. Be assured that the conscious universe is working to see that you have it. This is for a prosperity message. When the Carnelian spirit appears, it is not a time for second-guessing yourself. Did you forget how much power you have to co-create the reality you wish to experience? You are called today to be confident in your strengths, strength, to feel self-assured as you deal with unexpected challenges or boldly moved forward into uncharted territory to explore its possibilities for you. Feel the strength of the conscious universe, universe propelling you forward. Walk with dignity and grace, for you're truly capable of co-creating all you need and more. And your crystal spirit meditation is carnelian, is a stone of confidence, courage, and action. Fantastic for those who are prone to procrastination or having difficulty gathering the courage to take the first step. Carlinian lights a fire in your belly and other less comfortable places, pulls you up by the bootstraps and say, let's go for it. So these are your two crystals for the week. Like I said, you could meditate with them or put an intention on them and carry them with you during the day. Uh, so these are your two crystals. Now let's see what is your animal spirit. You got earthworm. Hmm. So this is shy hesitant reluctant to share inner vision we all felt that we all felt we all felt that the woos of the earthworm at some point along the way the earthworm indicates a newbie or novice working to establish confidence in a new field others around you may may seem wise and experienced but it's important to remember they once felt earthworm energy too this card is a reminder not to be intimidated or lose hope mastery takes time and you're on the right track besides rumor has it a beginner's mind offers the most valuable insights 
When is the balance is earnest, intelligent, and valuable? When is all the balance is self-conscious and apprehensive? To bring into balance, speak up and risk embarrassment. Okay, so the earthworm is your animal spirit for this week. And I also took another card out for you. And you got purification. Cleanse your environment and personal space, Gemini. Water is deeply cleansing and purifying, which is why it's used in symbolic practices throughout the world. Water is the universal life force and symbol of purity and fertility. Often seen as a life itself, without water, we would not be able to exist in our physical form. Water sustains all, uh, all life on earth. Water cleanses, quenches thirst, and refreshes all living systems. Purification as a symbolic practice brings us closer to our divine self and celestial and having heavenly beings. Sacred traditions and practices wash away impur impurities from the soul and, and from the soul and the physical body. Purity allows us to see and hear the voice of truth and keeps our ego self in check. Right now, your body, mind, and spirit need to be purified. Clear unwanted energy by focusing on emotional balance. Eat clean. Nutritious, nutritious food. Now is the time to open your heart and soul to release old trauma, pain, or emotion wounds, suffering, or regret that you are carrying in your spiritual backpack. Like a universal baptism, you are able to release these old energies and liberate your soul and mind from old beliefs and physical restraints. Cleansing of your physical space is required now. Call on your angelic or spiritual helpers to assist you energetically with this task at home, work, or socially. Clean your, clean your home environment or workspace. Remove or donate any outdated or unwanted items, clearing old stagnant energy. Water is a conduct, conduct of a clear channeling and spirit communication. You may be feeling disconnected from spirit or your higher self. Higher self. Spend time running... Uh, spend time around running water such as lakes, waterfalls, or streams to purify your mind. Treat yourself to a spa therapy or therapeutic baths to reset your senses. Be mindful during the moments you choose to spend time in and around water. Your observations and impressions will give you great insight into your current emotions. And your affirmation after me is, I purify my soul. I release burden and expectations of choices. I am free to make my own decisions with love and confidence. Here you go, my beautiful gems. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. Please do not forget to like, share, or comment. Know that I have your back. Know that I love you. Have a great week ahead, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye. Take care.